guys, so today I just want to show you how to install a font onto your computer so that you can use it with Scal. So I'm just going to open my web browser. I happen to use Google Chrome. And you can get your fonts from anywhere, but today I'm just going to show you how to get one from defont.com. And Defont's got a lot of great fonts. They've got a lot of personal use ones, and they also have a lot of commercial use ones. So today I'm going to show you how to get a commercial use one. So you can see they've got all of their fonts sorted in all kinds of different ways. Um, today I think I want to get something curly. So we're going to go into curly, and what I want to do is I want to see the commercial use ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to more options and I'm going to go to 100% free. And then I'm going to hit submit. Now of course this method will apply for personal use ones too so it doesn't matter what font you find you can use the same method. I just happen to want a commercial use one today. I'm just going to scroll through and see which one I like. And I think one of the first ones was a winner. I'm going to download this strawberry whipped cream. I think it's kind of cute. So we're going to download that. Now on my web browser, it just pops up right here on the bottom. Yours, you might hit download and it'll ask you where you want to save it to. So I'm just going to go to show in folder because I know that it's where it's downloaded. So right here in my downloads folder, I have this zipped file. So I have to unzip it. I hit extract and then I'm going to hit extract all. And I want it to show me my extract file when it's done. So I'm going to leave that box checked and I'm going to hit extract. It just takes a couple seconds. And there it is showed up in my downloads folder. So you'll see right here that it's the true type font file. Sometimes you'll see TIFF, T-I-F-F, -F, and that'll be the file you want to click. So we're going to double click this, and it's going to show us our font, and we're going to go ahead and hit install. And now it's grayed out, so that tells me that it has been installed. So I'm just going to close out of these. And I'm going to open up Scal. And I'm going to go to my fonts here. And we're going to find this strawberry whipped cream. And we're done. Now just a side note with fonts and scal, you do not have to install fonts to scal. If it's on your computer, if it's installed to your computer, you can use it on scal. That's one of the great things about it. 